uh, we will discuss seven uh, cases. Uh, I will show first uh, the case without any comments. Uh, these are those seven cases which were uh, uh, presented in advance on the website. So, no comment first. Was it in good quality? Please answer. Yes, was, was. was the quality good? Yes, it was. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. it was. Okay. So, uh, I present, uh, I repeat the video in uh, three, uh, so three, three different uh, modules will be highlighted uh, now. First, this small cystic lesion. This clearly has a large tail, comet tail artifact. So this one here. The echogenic figure is clearly within the cystic part and has a large tail. Large tail means that it exceeds one millimeter in diameter. This distinction, the large and short tail comet tail artifact, uh, is used by the uh, American College of Radiologists. So, again, I think uh, that the image speaks for uh, itself. So, this is a quite large granule and it has a characteristic dorsal narrowing tail. Was it obvious? Any questions? Yes. Please. Do you have a question? No, I don't have. No, okay. Okay. Then we go forward and we focus now on the larger nodule uh, in the right lobe on this one. So I stop the video. Here we can see again characteristic uh, comet tail artifacts which had narrowing tail. Uh, this figure is, on my opinion, a part of a toward uh, solid part or a debris within uh, the region. So these are cometal artifacts. This and this one uh, is uh, no, uh, debris uh, of the solid part, I think. There is one thyroid system, the Korean which states that if we see comet tail artifact within a nodule, then it is benign and we should not perform aspiration cytology. Uh, all, other, all other four pilot systems uh, does not accept this uh, approach, but uh, it is clear that if we see comet tail artifact, then the risk of malignancy is very low. Here I highlight one other feature. Here. Uh, I don't know what is this. It can be a colloid crystal, a cometal artifact, but also a backpole figure, because it is just dorsal to cystic areas. Uh, this a complex structure is composed of uh, multiple cometal artifacts, uh, I mean, I guess. Question regarding this part of the video. Oh, one, one more comment. Uh, this is in uh, uh, important figure. 
and uh, if we see only this figure and we do not see this part of the nodule, uh, we could think that it could be a cluster of microclassifications. But we uh, think on a common sense. If within the nodule there are many cometal artifacts, then we can uh, suppose that those which are uh, within solid parts uh, and has a similar brightness are also uh, cometal artifacts. Naturally, I cannot exclude the possibility that this would be a microclassification, but uh, if we see the whole nodule and not isolated only this part of the nodule, then I think that it should not cause concern. Do you agree with me? Or is somebody who debates my approach? I don't think that I'm uh, uh, right. Maybe, but not surely. No comments, no questions. Okay, then we proceed with the third part. I present now the left quite large nodular nodules. I think that it is obvious that these large linear uh, lines are clearly backward figures. Here is a granular form. Uh, the clue is the uh, synchronous presence of lines and granules on which uh, we will not uh, make a mistake and not uh, overinterpret uh, some of these figures. It is also worth uh, viewing this, this part uh, of the region, or maybe this is another module. Here we can again see linear lines and granules. The synchronous presence of granules and lines is a very strong argument against the possibility of microclassifications. So this figure, uh, I will repeat this part of the video. Uh, please uh, focus on this one. Here is linear, and here it seems to be granular. So uh, the, the video is always superior to uh, still images because we can see the whole process. Yes, uh, I highlight this one. Uh, now it seems to be a granular form. Focus on this part of the video now. Granular. But when we started this, start repeat again. So it, it's linear and another view we can see as a granule, but this is not a microclassification. Any questions? Any comments? Excuse me. One question. The last imaging is a back wall imaging? Back wall figure, yes. yes. I, I start again with this part. Uh, these all within this uh, nodule, all hyper figures are backward figures. All of them, or most of them, are clearly dorsal to uh, larger and smaller cystic areas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Other question or comment? Okay, 